and welcome to Movie Magic Scheduling's Back to Basics. I'm Caitlin Bogert and today I'm going to take you through the strip board and we're going to go through how to sort it using the AZ icon and all of the different options available. Let's get started. Okay, so the last time we were in the strip board, we went through some of the icons and some basic navigation with dragging and dropping the strips and moving them around the strip board. Today we're going to go and talk about the AZ icon, which is a little bit more of an advanced sort, allows you to organize the data in your strip board um, a little faster. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the AZ icon, and when I do that, it's going to bring me into this window that allows me to add different parameters to sort my strips by. So first, uh, in order to begin the sorting of the information, you have to select the Add button. So when I click on the Add button, you're going to notice a line appear below Sort By and Order. Um, in order to activate this line, you can click on it and it will give you more options to sort by. It defaults to Sheet, but if you select it, it will open up and give you different parameters to sort your sheets, or excuse me, your strips by. Order allows you to choose whether you want to sort these uh, elements over here either by ascending or descending order. So you can go alphabetically or reverse alpha or you can sort either you know your numbers ascending or descending. So let's start going through the different options you can sort by. So again it defaults to sheet but you can sort by the different scene numbers, the different sets that you've entered into the breakdown sheets, any comments that you have, DN stands for day night, so you can sort by day night. Uh, interior, exterior will allow you to sort and group everything according to interior and exterior. Estimated time, again, will allow you to sort by the estimated time that you've entered into your breakdown sheets. Location, it will sort by the various locations. Pages, it will sort by the different page numbers you've entered. Script day, Again, this will sort by the script days that you've entered, where you are in your story. Script page, the actual page numbers, it will sort those page numbers. If you have sequences entered into your breakdown sheets, uh, it will sort by those sequences. Again, you know, if you have a green screen sequence or a dream sequence, you can organize those and get those sorted together. Synopsis, if you wanted to sort by the different um, quick summaries that you've given your individual scenes, you can sort by that as well. Unit, you can sort by the different units you have in your breakdown sheets. So it looks like we can sort by one parameter. However, often you're going to want to sort by multiple parameters. So you're not locked into sorting by just this one field. You can add multiple fields. And I'm going to give you a quick example and a common sort that is done um, to kind of get you started. And typically that common sort is to select day night. I'm going to add another parameter to sort by. Interior, exterior. And I'm going to add scenes, or I'm going to add sets, excuse me, because I may not know my locations yet, but I definitely know what the sets are because of my script. So I'm going to take these three parameters and get a jump start on um, my schedule just by sorting these things that I know are common and are together. So when I say OK, you're going to notice that these strips behind have all jumped and organized themselves together based on those parameters that I had entered. So I have all of my exterior days together and it's sorting all of my sets. So you'll notice here I have all of my main streets organized together. Again, it depends. It's going to sort based on how you've entered the information in the into your breakdown sheets. So you'll see we have interior days and all of our sets located together. And you'll see we have our exterior nights all grouped together and our interior nights all grouped together. Now based on this I can start to actually move those strips around again. And again it's just by dragging and dropping. So if I wanted to get all of my streets together even though um, they're named slightly differently they may all be on the same street when I actually shoot it. So again, you're not locked into the sort. It's just a jumping off point for you guys to get started. That's all we have today for the AZ icon. Uh, going forward, we will look to explore how to set your calendars, how to do different scenarios, and some other um, more advanced functionality in the strip board. I hope that video helped you get a jump start on sorting your strip board. Please feel free to send any feedback that you have to productfeedback at entertainmentpartners.com. 
Also, please check out our community page and all the different ways to connect with us on our social networks. Thanks for watching.